But shoot, I'm making good money out here for real without having any help. I'm just gonna have to have to be smart about how I how I work things, man. That's all. Good morning, good morning. It's Wednesday morning, and yeah, I'm getting to it, man. It's 7.30, so I'm able to pull out a little bit earlier. Uh, a couple things in the video yesterday uh, that, uh, well, I got a few comments, and I'll address some of the comments. I know my guy Justin came in the comments, and it wasn't no disrespect to him, but you gotta remember, man, that uh, when you came out here to work, you approached me. <laughs> So, you know, you, 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 and you're a great worker. I mean, dude's a great worker. I mean, I, I don't mean no disrespect, uh, but he wasn't out here long enough to really grasp what I was, what I was trying to show him. And, you know, if you can't, you know, the thing about it is, uh, once guys start not being able to be on time and they, that, then I, I lose interest in showing, uh, people what to do, uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, if you can't be at work on time, then everything else after that is, is, is going to be, well, suspect. I mean, I loved having Justin out here. He, he, he worked good, uh, but he wasn't out here long enough to really understand everything that I, that I did, that I do. And not that the way I do things are, are, are rocket science or nothing. But I can't do. I couldn't do things the way he did things at the bigger companies. I'd go bankrupt, you know, paying him the kind of money that I was paying him. You know, when when somebody starts paying you uh, north of twenty five dollars an hour, there's certain expectations that you got to meet, and that means you got to focus on what whoever's paying you tells you, and and just kind of you got to kind of trust what they're telling you. And you know, uh, Justin just wasn't out here long enough. To, to do all that and the thing about it is I, I'm, 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 I'm in the just as bad a spot now as I was when the other guy quit right only, only thing is I paid out top 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 dollar for the last six weeks and when I could have been I could have had that young kid out here and I've been going through the same thing but I wouldn't have had to pay, pay out I'd have been paying that young kid at, you know a uh, hundred bucks a day and then I then then I then that's paying for some of my frustration. So I ain't trying to disrespect nobody. I'm just telling the facts, man. And you know, and you gotta look you gotta look at that and say, well damn, you know, I did go to him and approach him on a job and told him I could do the job that the other guy was doing. And that's what you told me. So if anybody's been disrespected, I feel like I've been disrespected because that's not what happened. I did everything I said I was going to do, and Justin did not. So, uh, and it's not a disrespect, but he couldn't. He was physically limited. But he knew that when he came out and asked me for a job after watching the channel for two or three years. You put me in a bad spot. I know you don't see it like that, but that's the way it is because, look, I'm solo, and I got 15 yards on the list. So, thanks, you know. I mean, after I paid you top freaking dollar, man, because I thought that you, you you were, you know, gonna come out here and help me wrap up the season, and that's not what happened. But everything I did is what happened, but I'm disrespecting you. Come on, man. So, don't take it as a disrespect, dude. Just take it as, as well, I mean, the truth. I mean, it's the truth. I mean, am I telling a lie? Where have I lied? Yeah, I haven't. Not, 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 not at all. But anyway, uh, so Zach did good yesterday. And like I told y'all, you know, Zach, Zach, Zach is, is very unreliable. You know, you're not going to get Zach to come out here on a reg uh, and it be... Uh, worthy you got you like you know i happened to catch him you know the other day uh you know 
and he needed money. That's all that was. So, and I knew that when he when he got out of the truck yesterday and went on about his business, that I might not ever hear from him again, or I might hear from him in, in you know this morning. You know, I told him I would let him know, uh, and if he felt like working, all he had to do was respond. He hadn't responded, so tells me that he'll have to, you know, the you know the the same thing that seems to always happen with guys. They get a little money in their damn pocket, and they think they're rich. So he'll live large for a day or two, and then he will be calling. But see, y'all saw how I handled that. I made sure we did the hardest possible jobs where, without a doubt, I need help on. And those are the ones that we did. So if I'd have done the lawns that I got on the list today, if I'd have done them yesterday, then that would have uh, made it where I didn't have no help today and I would have had to been on them great big ones by myself. And there's no way, it's, it's damn near physically impossible to do uh, all four of those uh, big ones uh, solo in one day. It, 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 I mean, it's, it's doable, but you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna be working your ass off. And I'm trying to fit everything into a time window, you know, uh, if I can. Now, sometimes I can't, you know. So, that's, that's all a part of it. But I don't mean no, no harm and no disrespect because Justin was a great worker. Uh, and I would let you, and, and Justin, if he gets, you know, in a jam and he needs, needs to work, I, he could come out here and work, you know. I would, I, I mean, I, I'd pay, I don't know that I'd pay him what I was paying him, but I, but he could make good money, you know. A lot to learn out here, like I tell y'all, there's a lot to learn when you're coming from a big outfit. And the big, and just because you come from a big outfit don't mean anything. Matter of fact, I, I, I'm looking, I'm shying away from guys that come from the bigger outfits because they don't have to remember nothing. They don't have to, to be accountable for nothing, you know. They just gotta, you know, jump in line with three other guys. It's a big difference when you got that versus uh, just one other guy. It's a huge, huge difference. It's a totally another ball game. And then when you got the physical limitations uh, that that he had, and uh, he could probably get that fixed, but when you add that in, if you're not working smart, then you're really gonna wear yourself out. I'm just telling the truth, man, and you know, the channel's about really the truth, and, and, and sometimes it comes off as a little more antagonistic as it should, but, I mean, I got all these, I got all these yards to cut, man. They're all over the place. And see, this lady right here, she done put, we're just gonna let that front grow. But uh, I got, I got like 12 on the list. So, a little bit more than $800. It, it's the list that I would normally do today, whether I have a person out here with me or not. The only thing is I'm getting started a lot earlier. Uh, actually, uh, I'll actually be over at the first two at, at eight, not getting started at 8.30 or whatever, nine o'clock. I'm already gonna be at the first two, so. And then I'm just gonna methodically go through the list just like I would if I had somebody out here. But yesterday I knew Zach was gonna be not wanting to work today. That's been the pattern uh, the last few times he's worked with me. And as long as I know, then I put myself in the best scenario to win, right? What gets me is when I don't know, man. If I don't know what a guy's gonna do, then that's a problem for me. See, I, I knew when I woke up this morning that that wasn't working, I, I already knew. I knew when he got his money yesterday that it wasn't working. And that's the way, you know, I hate it that it's like that because at the end of the day, Zach uh, or Justin or any of them, they can make a lot of money out here. They got to get past their own stuff and and everything. But you know, I loved having Justin out here. He was great, man. 
Well, you don't sound like it, Ray. You dogging that man, but I'm not dogging him out, y'all. I'm not. I'm telling the truth. He couldn't. He couldn't do the job because of his physical limitations. What bothered me so bad is he knew that when he came out here. So you got me vesting, investing in a person, and at the end of the day, they can't even do, and they they can't physically do the work. And that's not a dig. That's that's what happened. I mean, it wasn't about money. It wasn't about, uh, you know, work ethic or, or his ability uh, to, to do the work. He had the ability, but his physical limitations made it where he couldn't do the work. I mean, I, I don't know. And this is actress, it's sort of like me going and, and applying to be, you know, an athlete, you know, that's saying that I can jump, run, and shoot the ball, but... I can't. My physical ability won't allow me. That's not a dig. That's just what happened. So you know, people don't have to take it as it's not. A, it's not no disrespect. It's 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 really something that that if you tell a guy or tell an employer, a potential employer, that you can do this and that, then you need to be able to do this and that, and 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 not after you know. 30 days, everything everything that the employer has spent time-wise investing in you, he, 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 he's just out. And now he's back to square one like I am right now. I'm just glad I got Zach to help me yesterday on those four big ones. Well, it was actually five. Those we did. And I'm glad I did that, that extra one too. Because see, I understand how Zach thinks. And it, and it ain't a dig in him. It's just, that's just how we think. So, if I'm gonna have him come out here and help me, then I gotta know that. I gotta recognize that and anticipate that. But shoot, I'm making good money out here for real without having any help. And I know Justin ain't sitting on the couch watching TV all day, see? I know he's not. He's doing something to make money, but that's just how he is, he's a hustler. Justin's a hustler. He's gonna hustle, and I don't blame him. Well, let me get, if I can get this list right here done today, that's gold, man. Because in two more weeks, it's gonna be a little bit easier. I'm, I'm just gonna have to have to be smart about how I, how I work things, man, that's all. I might not do it as, uh, as good as if I had somebody out here, as far as efficiency goes, but if I don't have any frustration out here, then I can work with that, man. We'll get on down here and get these two by the highway done real quick, and then I'm gonna head on to the route, man. I ain't really trying to hire nobody. Just just some day labor here and there as needed. But uh, I've never done this route solo, not ever. But considering I, uh, we did that one where it's a little bit off of the regular routing, we did that one, then, hey, I'm good. All right, y'all, so a couple of you guys are asking me about the belt, the new belt that I bought. And here it is right here. Uh, it looks great. I mean, it looks just as good as any other belt. Uh, I think it's definitely, definitely worth it, man. Uh, so far so good uh, I can't guarantee it but I mean it feels and looks good and you know it ain't the first this ain't the first belt I've ever had bought and uh, you know I know a little bit about these things so that belt is pretty good right now uh, you never know though it could last a long time and, and maybe not so uh, yeah so y'all y'all been over here at this one right here a hundred times uh, yeah all right y'all so, uh, over here what I normally do is uh, I go on and, and cut me a spot right here because you can't block the driveway for long this is a this is a driveway for three houses now I know this house right here is empty uh, and I and and I know this house right here I'm not in their way so I don't have to worry about is the one on the end there and I've never even seen nobody come out of there while I've been here so what I normally do is I park right here for just a moment and then I uh, I go on and 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 get all this off the off the road right here. I just use the mower to do it real quick, 
and then I mow this real quick and then I just pull my truck right here and then that's why I post up to do the property so same old same I'll do it the same way every time whether I got a guy with me or not uh, we're gonna see some of the stuff that I did last time uh, and we're gonna see how the weed killer worked on the open area uh, now this little Honda mower is a pretty tough little cookie here I mean it did pretty freaking good see I don't like the way this lip is right here because that right there if it get, if this gets pushed against that lip it'll bend the, it'll bend or break it man uh, that's what the uh, Toby did to the other to the X mark mower he 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 yeah well I ain't gonna go into all that it don't matter so but you know that sax loss not coming out here today if I was him I'd have came out here at least one or two more days I'd have got my pocket right you know but I knew that once and I couldn't get him to come out here if I didn't pay him because he didn't have no money so I knew that once uh, that once he got his money that he wasn't gonna be back out here the next day this story of my life man and I'm used to it it doesn't even nothing shocks me anymore with anything out here really so so what I'll do since it's kind of early it's like it's like 10 minutes to 8 so what I'll do is I'll do this one first and then I'll go do this one last because, uh, well, it's early. But I saw where where Zach, uh, he was on, you know, I went on Messenger and messaged him and he didn't answer, but he was on, he was on there. So <laughs> that means that, so he saw my message and he didn't want to work today because he's probably hung over. And that's the story of my life. Right. First thing I'm going to do is blow this off right here with the mower and get my truck parked there. And then I'm going to this property and then I'll do that property and then I'll do the roadside. And then I'm on to the next one. Deuces. So uh, I'm going to just show y'all how I do this one and just the, the method. Uh, it might be a little bit boring. Uh, I'm going to try to time it where uh, I'm not talking and I have to speed it up. So right now I'm going to talk for a second. But as I go down this driveway right here, let me go on and get it going. As I go down the driveway right here, I'll go ahead and and blow off the driveway, and I'll blow it all that way. So, yeah, I could use a backpack blower, walk all up in here, and make it all nice and pretty. But why would I do that? I don't have to. my top lawnmower y'all basically what I do is I just go around the house blowing it all out y'all gonna see Right here, what I'll do right here, you see, I'm gonna grab my little blower right off the top of the front of the mower here, and I'm gonna blow all that off and get all that out here where I can get it with a lawnmower. Pretty simple, man. Pretty simple stuff, man. Now, see, if I'd have sent my guy over here to do that, he would have been up and down the driveway with the backpack blower. He wouldn't have done it like this. It would have taken him a lot longer and he's working a lot harder. See, the number one thing you got to know is the expectations of the customer. And I know that when you look up <laughs> and y'all see all these leaves in the trees, now why in the hell are you going to go too deep on detail? Because as soon as I leave, it's going to be, the leaves are going to be down more. So it's just kind of get it, get it manageable and you don't have to worry about it. So these are the kind of properties that I don't mind doing. Uh, you know, it, does, it doesn't, but I know that if I sent a guy over here, he would approach this property just like he would a property uh, that requires a, uh, a lot more detail. And you can't do that. You gotta, you know, you, you might make, you might not make quite as much money on the, on the detail, on the more detailed jobs, but you make up for it on this kind of stuff. 
because this is just this is a rental and it's empty and it's one of about 12 that I do for them and been doing them for over 12 years 13 years so uh, I think Jessica was saying something about I got my customers trained for not top quality work well okay that's uh, whatever whatever that means uh, top quality work to me ain't wasting a bunch of time uh, doing things that are, are not necessary and, and 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 trying to stay in business you got to be able to stay in business man you know you can't you know I don't know man What's wrong with that? I mean, there, I mean, what's what's wrong with that? There's nothing. There's nothing more I can do. I'm gonna blow those steps off right there real quick, blow that porch off, and that's it, man. Uh, and I'm going over to the next one. So yeah. Okay, y'all. So y'all see all of this? Uh, they want me to get it up, man. See, if I had if I had help out here, I could do that, man. Uh, but I, I don't really have time today. I'm gonna get my chainsaw and I'm gonna come down here real quick and spend about 10 minutes just cutting on it and try to break it down a little bit. Uh, but uh, as far as me removing it today, that's not gonna happen. Because see, what I could do just to get it out of the way, but you can't do it here because you got a fence. So you got a fence right here and in the corner back there. So. I got I got 201T with me, man. So maybe I'll come down here and cut on it for a minute. But see, I didn't anticipate that. Uh, so let me do the yard, get it to a certain point, and then I'll I'll work on this for a few minutes. But I'm just gonna come in here and cut it. Uh, and see, the last time I was here, I sprayed all around them. It had growth all around it. But uh, yeah, y'all. So that's just another thing that you know, not having that I that I got to take care of, and I don't have no help. So yeah. Okay. So this is more than a damn limb. This is a freaking tree. trim on that tree for a second i wasn't gonna get it all man because well i ain't got time for all that today man so but the the renters man they're they're yeah they uh are really something <laughs> they really are i mean they are the most nitpickingest renters i've ever seen and uh that yard is way too busy i'm not charging enough it was okay uh when it when it was empty but when all these leaves start falling, I'm not trying to, I can't be over there for two hours uh, for uh, the money I'm charging. I can't be. So uh, I got to call into the owner and uh, I mean, I've just never seen renters that are so, you know, uh, nitpicky about about i mean he was taking pictures of the bushes and the bushes didn't look bad at all so that's between I, i'm gonna and i'm gonna i'm gonna tell the owner man you know that when the owner ain't gonna want to pay to have the bushes done every three weeks so we just did the bushes over there just i mean a month ago that's 230 dollars for the roadside and 
So I'll probably be at about 7.30 or so, something like that, uh, when I get done with this route. And I've never done this route solo, so, uh, but I've done all the properties solo at some point, you know, but just not all of them together. Um, there ain't a property I got I haven't done solo before. Um, the biggest one was HOA, and I've done it solo twice. Um, but these two over here are easy, man. Uh, probably not even going to require a lot of weed eating uh, at all because of the fact that, uh, well, it's all turf grass and the, the, the Bermuda grass is not growing. You know, it's not, it's not, the edges are going to be nice uh, based on, you know, the other properties that I've been doing. So, uh, anyway, uh, all right, y'all, I have to get some, uh, I don't know how much footage I'm going to get over here, but we'll just have to see. Okay, I got the one in the cul-de-sac done. Uh, now I'm fixing to do this one. Uh, the one in the cul-de-sac took 20 minutes, man. So, um, and this one right here will take about the same. They're real small, man. I don't even really like doing them, but there's so many leaves and stuff falling on them that you have to damn uh, stay on these. Or it's, it's a major, major, major job. Uh, but uh, I, I'm not gonna get no footage over here. I'm letting the camera charge. Uh, so, yeah, let's get this. What, 65 and 65 we got 65 from down there i'll get 65 plus 30 here so uh because i'm gonna spray so that's uh 160 on these two It'll probably take me less than an hour all right y'all so this is another job uh that i did the sod on it's probably been seven or eight years now did all this uh, and it's you know now this is a uh, tiff tough Bermuda uh, but all this right here look like that and I did this before I even had skid steer or anything uh, I think Zach helped me on it too, uh, but it's just just another example of the guys that think that I that I ain't never done no sod jobs. I've done more than I can count, and this is one of them right here. So yeah, y'all. All right, man. So got those two done. It didn't take me as long as I thought it would. Around 40 minutes or so for both of them so that ain't bad man solo so now we're on to i got one at the country club i'm gonna do y'all been over there a hundred times there's nothing in the back but the front is always uh it strikes real nice it's the they they got the zoysia grass over there and uh, i've been doing this you know that one for a hell of a long time man but uh Yeah, so I got that one, and then I got three more uh, that are pretty close to get to. Two of them are not next door to each other, and then one is outside of that, so uh, yeah. So on these two right here, I made 65 plus 95, so $160 right here. I sprayed one. The other one I never spray, so uh, that works. Them little thirty dollars be adding up, man. That adds up quick, man. It, it, it covers all your fuel and stuff. So, well, you could get more if you, you know, for spraying. I'm good. I, I, I mean, I, I make I can make money at thirty dollars a pop, and it saves me time because I don't have to weed these next drill. Shoot, it's a win-win. You get any higher, you go any higher than that, and the people they, they don't want to do it. Then you don't get nothing, but you end up spraying anyway, so but save, save you time on the next trip. So yeah. Just 1015, man. That ain't bad. So where am I at? Uh 2.30 plus 190, whatever that is. The next one, man, deuces. 
All right, y'all, just got done with this one. This is a 90 here, uh, plus 30 for spray. So it's 120 right here. Took me about 45 minutes, so. Uh, so, it, you know, it's, it's, it's okay. Uh, now I got uh, two more to do. Uh, they're right next door to each other, and one of them pays 100, and the other one pays 70. So another 170. Uh, and it's 11.30 now. Uh, but it's going to take me a minute over there because uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a pretty good bit of detail, you know. But not a whole lot this time of year. If you're sassy with a blower, you can really minimize some of the work. Uh, and guess what? I'm sassy with a blower. <laughs> so... Cause it, none of the none of the big the big grass is growing. I mean, it's just the the weedy stuff. So, and over here I got a Bermuda yard and a centipede yard. But the thing is, there's a lot of trees, so you can make a big difference with a blower really quick, or you don't even have to put the mower on uh, certain sections and stuff if it ain't you know at the right time. So. But I got to make a couple calls, y'all. Uh, I'll kick it. All right, y'all. So that's a wrap, man. Uh, that's all I'm doing today. Uh, I mean, I, that's all I'm doing before I eat. Uh, I'm not really feeling it today for some reason, man. I just, I'm sluggish. I didn't eat a lot of breakfast, man. Uh, if I'm going to be out here solo, I got to eat more in the morning. I, I mean the yards are pretty easy uh, I was good on the first four but after that I started I don't know man I started losing my energy I got it all done no problem but you know I don't want to be in better headspace so and it'll take a minute to get used to doing all these yards solo uh, I'm going to have to space things out a little bit too uh if I can get, you know, either Zach or Justin to come out and help me, you know, one day a week, two days a week, that'd be sweet. You know, that ain't too much on them and it ain't too much on me. But you never know. I don't know what they're, you know. I ain't heard from Zach. So, but he's out there. He's out there running the street, you know. <laughs> so, I'm at 620 today. It's 130. But if I don't have to pay out, you know, anything, I mean, that's about what I'd be making anyway, except for I'm having to do all the work. So, I actually made more money today than I did uh, the last time uh, me and my guy was out here on this same route. Because I did all the same properties, except for the, the, the one that we did yesterday. So, and thank God I did it yesterday. See, now I'd have to go way over there. Yeah, that was a gangster move over there. All right, y'all.